Hello beautiful people of the internet and welcome to my channel. I am Mandy and this is a place where I like to talk about stuff in real life like makeup and panning projects. So if that sounds interesting, hit the subscribe button and let's get into today's video. Today I have an update for the child of the 80s cuz you know the 80s were cool and that's when I was a child so this is a fantastic ladies collab group project it was created by Jaylon and I will have her channel linked in the description below it is a year-long project that started on January 1st and goes until the end of the year with monthly updates it's a roulette style project with 80 prompts to choose from and you can work on eight or more at a time and uh, yeah I have some progress I have some stuff rolling out and uh, I got to roll some stuff in so let's work down the list in the order that they were rolled in and see where we're at first of all still hanging in the first thing I rolled in was for Millie Vanilli something that isn't what you thought it was this definitely isn't what I thought it was this is the skin valve body boosting gel you probably heard me talk about this before it is like putting Vicks vapor rub on your body and you're supposed to put it on before you work out and then it's supposed to tone and firm and smooth sure okay whatever um I brought it in for 20 uses. I have now used it 15 times. That's three times in the last month, bringing me to 15 uses. We brought it into the project. It was way up there, I think. Um, that's the first mark. And now we're way down here. So yeah, I have, uh, five more uses and this will probably be out. Uh, yeah, would not absolutely never ever buy this again. anyway because that definitely was not what I thought it was okay I didn't know what I thought it was but it wasn't 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 it all right next up we have for totally tubular a product in a tube go figure I brought in my Burt's Bees lip oil uh, hydrating lip oil with almond oil my goal was to empty it and guess what is all gone I keep trying there's like a little bit stuck right inside there but I keep trying and, and squeezing and I get just the teeniest bit but like not enough to do anything so the last month I used it 21 times good old 21 for a total of 127 uses in this project and I thought it I brought it in I thought it was almost empty and it turns out it wasn't but it is now. So this little guy is rolling out. Yippee! Alright. Um, next up. It's for Just Say No. Something you don't like. And for that I brought in a shade from my Marvie Corn palette. Which is my Pan That palette this year. And no spoilers. I brought in that shade right there. Called 8000. It is a dark highlighter which I use as a bronzer. My goal in this project was to use it 20 times. And guess what? I used it 20 times. I'm all done with it. So that prompt is rolling out. Yoo-hoo! Two prompts out. Ah, ah, ah. All right. I grew up on Sesame Street. Next up is for the prompt the moonwalk something that was black or white or both and I brought in my curl cream by from who knows who I don't know hairs hairs salon hair simplified I'm I me hair um, number four waving curl cream and guess what it's all empty I used it all up at the last update we were here and then apparently in the last month uh, I used all that much. It probably wasn't that much in there. It was probably just sticking to the sides. 
Um, I could probably get one more use out of this, maybe squeeze a little bit, little, little bit out. But I have been working on making my natural curls do their thing. And so I probably did use more of it. Or like I said, it was probably just sticking to the sides. So guess what? That's another product rolled out. Yay! All right. Let's move on to things that I forgot to grab. One moment. All right. I thought I had everything, and then I got to this prompt and went, oh, I forgot to grab that. So, uh, next up is for 21 Jump Street. I missed that show. The original. The Johnny Depp. Yeah. Anyway, uh, product you want to use 21 times. I brought in my Color Pop Lippy Stick in um, sh matte cami, matte. As it says, lovely shade here. I am not wearing it today. I am wearing something else. Uh, I have used it three times in the last month. I used it two times prior to that, so I've used it five times. My goal is 21 times. It's it's in the prompt, 21 uses. Um, so I've used it five times. That means I have 16 more uses to go. All right. We're getting down there. There's only a few more prompts left that I have still in. So we've already had three rollouts, right? Yes, three rollouts. Okay. Next up is for Gotta Have More Cowbell. An integral part of your routine. And for that, I brought in my Hey Humans deodorant, which is falling apart, this one is. Uh, and my goal is to empty it. I, I tried marking it by doing this when I brought it in and apparently it hasn't really moved or I marked it wrong, which is probably more likely I marked it wrong. I have used it 17 times this month. I only use it when I'm home, but now I've taken it and packed it and I'm using it while I'm away because I'm going to be gone most of the month, um, only coming home to record. So, uh, 17 uses this month and I had 23 uses last month bringing me to a total of 40 uses so far and there is still product in here so we're gonna keep going I mean you don't use a whole lot of deodorant every day right unless you really slather it on or put it on multiple times a day but I don't so this product is staying in all right next four help I've fallen and I can't get up a product you gave in to buying and I gave in to buying the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray this is just a little deluxe travel travel size whatever they I don't know what size they call this is this a travel size probably uh, I, I bought it I used it all up it's empty I got eight uses out of it since bringing it into this project I got more uses out of it prior to that it was okay. Uh, if somebody gave it to me, I would definitely be happy to use it. Um, it's a little bit expensive. I think the Milani Make It Last works just as well. Uh, right now I'm using, I uh, just bought a NYX one and I think so far so good. So we'll see. I don't think it's worth the price. So, you know, yeah. But that is another product rolling out. So that's four products rolling out. And the last product I'm currently working on is for E.T., a unique product. And for that, I brought in my Bite Multi-Stick in the shade Peacock Pearl. It is this beautiful, gorgeous stuff right here. I am wearing it right now on top of a dark red lipstick. I often use it as a lip topper. I have used it, a, one, I've used it twice as a contour cream contour and it worked pretty darn well I think um, and I could possibly use it as an eye base I haven't tried that yet but I might it might have worked today I don't know but over the past month I've used it twice on my lips and what uh, twice as I said on my uh, contour bringing me to four uses and my goal is to use it 15 times so it's staying in all right, that means we have four rollouts, right? Did I do my maths right? The Burt's Bees, the Marvy Corn, the Curl Cream, and... Where was the fourth one? Oh, the All Night, this, the Setting Spray. So four roll outs, meaning four roll ins. Let me make sure I did my math right, and we'll get those prompts rolled in.
All right, I have four products staying in. The Skin Ball, the Deodorant, the Lippy Stick, and the Multi Stick. So that means four products rolling in. I have my pretty random app up. I have prompts one through 80. We're gonna skip if we roll anything that we've already uh, had. So let's start with the first one is number 69, 69. We did not have that yet. Yes, we did. That was help. I've fallen and I can't get up. Next is number 25, 25. We have not had that. 25 is Trapper Keeper. All right, Trapper Keeper. And that is something with cute packaging. Oh, I like that. Okay, Trapper Keeper. Got it. And next one. I should really do this the other hand so I can write with the other hand. 22. Back to the future. Have we? We've done that one. Okay. Number 7171. We have not had 71, which is dipstick. Okay. And that is something you feel like a dipstick. Uh, feel like an idiot for buying. All right. Dukes of Hazard. Number 70, Footloose. A product that would have been forbidden when you were a teen. Ooh. I don't know if there was anything. I'll have to uh, think about that. And finally, 39. Did we have 39 yet? I don't see it. Okay, 39 is The Last Boys. <laughs> That's my favorite, one of my favorite movies. Okay, 39, Lost Boys. And that is a black or vampy item that one is that one I can do okay let me find these products and we'll be right back to tell you what I picked all right I'm back and I ended up with products that I didn't think I was gonna pick so going down the list uh, for trapper keeper a product with cute packaging I am bringing in this guy here this is the Norns highlighter uh, from o Odin's eye and this is Veil of Future. It is this guy here. Let me remove the plastic there. Um, it is a pink gold highlighter. And I did swatch it on my hand. I don't think you can see it. Barely right there on, by my knuckles. So yeah, this is brand new. I have never used it on my face. I've only swatched it. And I'm bringing this in for 10 uses. Next up is Dipstick, a um, product you feel like an idiot for buying. And I'm going to go with the Spa Scriptions Exfoliating Lip Scrub. I feel like an idiot for buying this because I don't use lip scrubs. I have never used lip scrubs. And I thought, hey, I should probably try a lip scrub. And I bought this. And it's okay. I just very seldom use it. Um, when I wash my face, I do a, a final wipe off with a washcloth and use that to exfoliate my lips. And I don't seem to ever have any need for additional exfoliation. So this is something I don't really need. And I have two of them. This is one of them. This is in um, Manuka Honey and Nectarine. I don't ever use it, so I'm bringing it in to use for 10, uh, for 10 uses, so I can remember remind myself to get use out of it. Um, next is for Footloose, a product that would have been forbidden when you were younger, or in high school, whatever the prompt was, I don't remember. Um, what did it say? That would have been forbidden when you were a teen. Okay. Well... My mom was pretty liberal, and she didn't really forbid anything. I just didn't do things. Um, so I came up with the thing that I thought was best, and that is going to be my hair dye. Uh, this is one of two hair dyes that I use. 
Um, and this is, uh, yeah. Although my mom was the one who first dyed my hair when I was in uh, high school. So, yeah. But I don't know what she would have felt about blue hair dye. So we're going to go with this and we're going to go with uh, using it up, finishing it. I think it's about a half to a third empty already. Um, I don't need a whole lot to do my whole head, but um, my hair is growing out and I do use more. So this should be done relatively quickly. But yes, in case you're wondering, this is the hair dye I use, Arctic Fox Poseidon. And then I mix it with another dark uh, blue to get this particular shade that has now faded a little bit, but not as fast as it has in the past. So that all rhymed. And finally, for Lost Boys, one of my favorite, favorite movies. I have a story about going to see that, but that is for another day. Maybe I'll tell you a story about that when I was uh, during a get ready with me. But for Lost Boys, a product that is a black or vampy, and I could have gone with a liquid lip. I have a vampy liquid lip. I have another vampy nail polish. And instead, I'm going with a black eyeliner. This is from Fright Night, because, you know, all the best makeup comes from Halloween brands. And this is just a black eyeliner. I sharpened it to make sure it still worked and it wasn't too dried out. And I swatched it there on my hand. It is just a simple black eyeliner, and I'm bringing it in to use it ten times, because it's black. And that's it. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to hear the story about me going to see The Lost Boys as a minor, and it was rated R, let me know in the comments, and I'll uh, consider doing a uh, get ready with me about that. Is my makeup smudging? Eh. And until, uh, yeah, like the button, uh, leave a comment, hit a like, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. That really means a lot to me. And until my next video, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you later. Bye.